by road from London to Singapore. More than 18,000 miles by Land Rover. We wanted to drive from London to Hong Kong through China. That was pretty unfeasible, unlikely, because it was the height of the Cold War. So the thing became to try to drive to Singapore entirely by land. This was a journey which had never ever been done, although many people had tried. We were 21, 22, we didn't have anything to lose. Uh, we'll give it a go. Normal 86-inch wheelbase Land Rover station wagons with 50-gallon extra fuel tanks built in. In a few hours, they will be in London, and from there, these friendly rivals start out on their long trek. The Land Rover Series 1 was absolutely vital. We couldn't have done the journey in anything else. We knew that it was going to be pretty damn difficult. London to Calcutta, no great difficulty, but beyond Calcutta, nobody had succeeded. During the war, two military roads had been built into Burma and they had lapsed into the jungle. Some bridges still existed, but we had to sort of walk across them and jump up and down to see whether they were carried away to the Land Rovers. Others had collapsed completely. And the rivers are quite wide and some of them have uh, uh, sort of barges, which and, and some of them you just expected to ford. The Land Rovers are loaded aboard country boats to make the crossing and drift a little downstream till they come to a road on the far side. In southern Thailand, there was this hundred mile gap of, with no highway. And they were in fact beginning to build a road and they had an engineering trace. There had been these bulldozers go through and in other parts they said, well, it was an elephant track. And it was in fact very difficult, but we did get through. In Singapore, they get the welcome they deserve as the first motorists to have driven across this great overland route. A journey which was a triumph for rover engineering. The Land Rover Discovery vehicle is very rightly a, a, an important icon across the whole world. Seeing the millionth Land Rover Discovery come off the production line was a fantastic feeling, both for myself and for the rest of the plant. Land Rover setting out on this journey of discovery to simulate what they did in 1956. And uh, we're taking the millionth Discovery on, on the same journey. The original Overland journey is a big inspiration. Um, we're obviously doing it slightly differently. We're travelling from London through, through Europe. Ending up in, in Moscow, we then go from Moscow through the, the three stand countries. And across to China and ending up in the motor show at Beijing. The journey will be quite tough in places. Mountains and snow and ice, it's everything from deserts to rocky mountainous conditions. Sand, rough tracks. It may even deteriorate even further uh, where we'll have to use winches and recovery techniques. The Discovery 4 is a, is a phenomenal vehicle, obviously it's got terrain response. So we'll be dialing into different terrain settings on the terrain response to help us through our way. Discovery 4 is not just our vehicle, they'll, they'll be our, our home day to day in many respects. They'll carry our gear and they'll keep us safe. I'm very excited about the journey. It'll be great fun, comfy cars. To celebrate the millionth is just something I can touch back in years to come that I was part of. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity to drive you know, from where Land Rovers are made to pretty much the other side of the world, really. Mm -hmm.